she was always more than her sister. She was my best friend. I could say she was my soulmate because uh, more than anybody else, I would talk to her about my creative works, anything like that. I mean, including my daughter, whom she calls her Awa means mother itself. She calls me Amma and her Awa. So she was doted, always doted. My sister doted on my daughter and. I mean, it's not memory for me because it's, for me she's still alive. It's like it's not sunk in as yet. Let me say that I have lost a very good friend, a great friend, and uh, now I am realizing how great she was. In the last two three days, the flurry of uh, responses and the people spontaneously coming onto the streets. Not in Karnataka in one day. That in the sixth of September, not less than 160 protest demonstrations spontaneously. Karnataka has 177 talukas. Almost every taluka has seen a protest. So, what touched the people, ordinary people? That is the main thing. I think she touched the heart of the people of Karnataka. Because her ideological commitment and emotional conviction to the causes she exposed was so radiant, so radiating, so transparent. When Sanjay Gandhi she was there to get public tribute, thousands of people, I think more than two and a half hours to three hours and it was a very heavy downpour, it was raining, people were standing. Uh, finally, we have decided to move her to the graveyard. Uh, at that time also people were coming running and there in that graveyard also Hundreds of people were there. That does not mean that all those people were known to Gauri personally. Streams of people. I mean, when she passed away, we thought should we give, give, keep her body in the, her house or my office or what should we do for people to come and pay their last respect. Then other people would see this. She's, we are not, we are just blood relatives to her. I, I might be, my daughter might be, my brother, my mom. But I found out her circle of family is huge and uh, kind of support had come with to be with us and they said no we'll keep we'll keep her in uh, Ravinda Kalashita Samsa which is a very public place where many many personalities have been um, you know so and I, I was and I was shocked to see that day it was raining and streams of people and all kinds of people all from all strata of society coming from politicians to uh, film industry and uh, writers, even bus drivers, a whole lot of them came. And a lot of students mm -hmm. whom I think have found a voice with her, you know. And I found it amazing and I, I, the kind of sorrow I was, we, family was going through, it converted into a pride, sense of pride. I have a feeling that the response to this is because people believe that freedom of expression is going. This is one of the things which has made people realize and have come out in big numbers. This is very important issue. My brother and her decided they'll run the paper together and make it survive. And, and as it is, as you know, she was one of the only one paper across the country who ran it without any advertisements, solely on circulation. In 2000, uh, her father P. Lankesh died and she came and edited the magazine along with her brother Indrajit Lankesh. Then she could hardly write commentaries. She could write some or a uh, little bit. But within two years, she mastered the language. Not only she started to write, she started to think. So much so, two years before when she started to write a column to Bangalore Mirror in English, she found all kinds of difficulty to write in English because her thought process was had become Kannada. Mm -hmm. The paper publication itself is important, but at the same time she had reached beyond that. Correct. So her paper was just a small part of it, very brief part of it, and for her it was more of a sense of pride and and a sense of uh, what can I say, not to be a disappointment to my father, which we said he would never have felt if you closed it down. State actually conspired with the people who were running the magazine and saw to it that she is kicked out of the magazine. That was February 22nd of 2005. She was told at the point blank by her brother that she is no more needed to this magazine. It is his and she should quit the magazine. Then within a span of 15 days, 
she had already registered uh, a magazine I mean, in a title under her name gauri lankesh patrika february 22nd she was actually ousted on march 8th she came out with a new magazine that is the day so that was a shivaratri day a public holiday in the afternoon there was a huge rally i mean huge uh, release ceremony more than 1000 people all over karnataka came so what i am trying to say is people liked her for her commitment but more than that i think as a journal newspaper journalist she got into gradually a lot of activism throughout and uh, very very i mean very liberal leftist attitude and uh, highly condemning the right wing activities and all that she used to say if truth is biased journalism should also be biased if the truth is one sided you should take sides she never believed in a kind of so called objective unpartisan non partisan kind of journalism it cannot exist like that it will take its time so activism was blended into her kind of journalism so this is gauri actually her fighting for ordinary people marginalized people down trodden people dalits minorities nobody can question her for example if i take from baba budan giri thing only see there are certain uh, symbols in this country which shows the communal harmony mm -hmm. and the real essence of this uh, country mm -hmm. this uh, right wing uh, fundamental fundamentalist forces were hell bent upon take out that uh, baba budan giri and they wanted to uh, convert it into datta pitha and as a part of that actually she became baba budan giri part of baba budan giri sauharda vedike she got court arrested in 2003 one of the edition was bought from the jail when she was in jail actually she actually dictated all the thing over phone and her colleagues in the press actually printed that so finally supreme court has given a direction to karnataka state government to form a committee to go through the whole history of baba budan giri when supreme court gives that kind of direction even supreme court wants to keep that legacy of india which is for communal harmony or amity among the people kind then gauri lankesh along with civil liberty activists many of them they are also stalwarts in karnataka they together formed this citizens initiative for peace and they gave a call to both government and naxalites to avail this opportunity to hold talks so their appeal was that if you are fighting for adivasis and if the government is willing to solve the problem of adivasis why can't you try that out the respect these people claimed in not only from the government also from the naxalites both of them heeded to their request and as a part of that almost for a 6 months there was a kind of ceasefire i myself i was writing a column for 10 years to her in the name of charvaka i myself have written so many articles criticizing naxalites criticizing their stupidity so for some time criticizing their wrong selection of the targets criticizing their wrong understanding of the changing nature of the society not even once we got any letter or any kind of reprimand or a kind of threat from naxalites but whenever she wrote anything about rss sangha parivar or bjp we used to get her uh, get letters in those days after when facebook started we used to get lot of galis below the belt vulgar and you know how women are treated you know yes. all kind of vulgar languages she used to laugh at them she never used to bother about them. that is one part within one and a half hour the whole twitterity of them started to celebrate the murder of gauri lankesh fitting reply she deserves that death and all that below belt kind of things they started then who are celebrating that death? you have a clear indication first you should probe that i am not denying that police should probe all the angles i am not denying that but the glaring thing is there no ravishankar prasad has also given a statement in a press conference as a minister ruling minister he says that rsi is not the thing and it is the naxalites how could he say that he is the head of the executive and he is giving a direction this is misuse of power police let them probe all the angles give them free hand first come the first whichever is glaring obvious let them exhaust i think that uh, gauri's murder which at the personal level is you know both shocking and tragic 
but I do think it is uh, it goes beyond an attack on an individual independent-minded journalist and it is actually an attack on freedom of expression and I think that is something which we all need to uh, understand. So it is in this background uh, lots of people are coming out against uh, these issues, against the government policies. As I said, uh, workers are coming out, Dalits are coming out, minorities are coming out. So different sections of the people are coming out against the government's policy. I would have to divert. And those who take lead in organizing the people, if, uh, if they are finished, to that extent, they feel, they feel that these movements will be suppressed. But in reality, it is not so. I think it will continue more strongly now, in fact. The only thing is, that there was a, she, was, she was a part of the forum. Her, it was her face, like in the, as I told you, Kamil, uh, Kamil Harmony forum, what they have. Also, she was one of the faces. From, so many people were there in that. But one, with her away, I hope the forum and their works and it, so many different forums are there and all of them continue the work strongly with or without her.